Well, new developments in the Venezuelan power struggle. In battle, President Nicolas Maduro says he is beefing up his nation's defences to prevent foreign aggression. During military exercises Sunday, he announced the purchase of thousands of surface-to-air missile launchers from Russia. Mr Maduro also warned US President Donald Trump against taking action in the country. We are a peaceful country, but we do not want anyone to get into our business. That Donald Trump does not threaten us. Out Donald Trump from Venezuela. Out your threats. Here we have armed forces and here is the people to defend the honor, the dignity and respect of a nation that has more than 200 years fighting for its future. Meanwhile, Mr. Maduro continues to prevent humanitarian aid from entering the country despite growing calls to accept the relief shipments. Stefano Posibon has more now from Caracas. Yes, no end in sight at the humanitarian aid stalemate on the Colombia-Venezuelan border. On Sunday, doctors from Venezuela protested at the border demanding the opening of a humanitarian aid channel, demanding this humanitarian aid that is stockpiled in the city of uh, Cucuta coming from Colombia and from the United States to be allowed into the country. A call made its own by the uh, leader of the opposition, Juan Guaido, who on Sunday here in Caracas uh, demanded the opening of the border to let the humanitarian aid in. But at the same time, Nicolas Maduro, the ambassador Venezuelan president who still has the support of the armed force is having none of it and reiterated his intention to keep the, the aid out of the country or keep this aid out of the country calling it uh, a, a vessel of interference and injurance inside Venezuela and he made even clear how he wants to treat these interference from abroad by announcing the purchase of thousands of thousands of uh, surface to air missile launcher from Russia saying that these are weapons that will be used to the defend the Venezuelan fatherland. So why we see the humanitarian aid still at the very bottom of this political stalemate here in Caracas, neither of the two leaders is walking down from the pressure, is able to find a common ground with the other side and try to broker a, a, a peaceful end to this dramatic stalemate. For CNN, this is Stefano Pozzabon, Caracas.